Tonight, Durham police are searching for answers after someone shot and killed a 22-year-old man. It happened along South Alston Avenue around 3.30 Sunday morning. First responders rushed Kendrick Maynard to the hospital, but he died. Now, that shooting comes after a deadly year in Durham. So far this year, there have been 41 homicides and hundreds of shootings. Tonight, people in some of the hardest-hit communities are hoping the city will do more to fight crime. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live at the Durham Police Department in Crystal. So do people living in Durham have any hope city leaders can make a difference in 2020? Well, people I talk to say enough is enough. They would like to see more of a police presence, but they say the police can't do this alone. Come with mama. Ashley Kennedy lives in McDougal Terrace with her four children. Let's fix your hair. A place where it's not uncommon to hear gunfire. Nobody understands what it's like to have to come in a community and deal with shootings every day. At McDougal Terrace this year, there have been multiple shootings and at least three homicides. It's not acceptable. It's, it's really not acceptable. It's not acceptable anywhere. And especially in a place where there's a whole bunch of children that can't even play outside because of the gunshots. This year, there were 41 homicides in Durham. That's up from the 34 last year and the 28 homicides in 2017. The homicides this year have happened in different parts of the city. Many have been drive-by shootings, including the shooting that killed nine-year-old Zion Person. We, as a community, have a part to play in that and making sure that we, we are supportive before the crimes happen. City Councilor Deidreana Freeman says that the best thing city leaders can do going into the new year is to support the Durham Police Chief's recommendations to add more resources to the gang unit, as well as adding more officers to the force in general. We're the growing city. We need to make sure that the resources are in place. As for Kennedy, she says the city and police can't do this alone, as she's asking people in the community to create support groups. And a lot of the shootings and stuff happen because people are dealing with mental issues. They're dealing with brokenness. So next year in 2020, um, I hope we all just come together and start working with residents to figure out how we can pre prevent these crimes from happening. And we did ask the police department for an update on that gang unit, but as of right now, we don't know if it's been created yet. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.